Many years ago, the Bill neighborhood was a wonderful community to live in. It was very safe. The bricks are gone. The homes have been destroyed by the decay in the community. This is an area that is fraught with um, danger and it takes many forms. You have so much violence around here. No income, there's no hope. The mission of De La Salle is, is really simple, to interrupt poverty through an empowering education. The name comes from St. John Baptist De La Salle, who's the patron of all teachers. Intensive middle school, sixth through eighth grade, long school day, year-round school, small classes. The mission is to educate each person to their own individual ability. Eighty percent of our students come from single parent households. Ninety-three percent of them qualify for the federal free or reduced lunch programs, which are indicators of financial strain on the family. Seven eights. Meeting students where they are, whether they're two or three grade levels behind in some cases, and then we're going to push those students up so that they succeed as much as they can academically. I like the small class size. You really get like a lot more one-on-one -on -one time with them. They're graduating at a 93 to 96 percent rate from high school. The high schools that surround us graduate at anywhere from about a 38 to 44 percent rate of graduation. So we're double and then some. The dedication of the teachers is just something you do not find in a normal school environment. Times the number of shares. They choose to, to come to the inner city and help some low-income kids you know, to get away out of the, the cycle. Two, that's it's that. all about the student-teacher relationship. As that relationship grows, that's when the learning really happens and our teachers buy wholeheartedly into this mission. What else happens? They care about you and like what you need and what you're doing. You just feel like a family atmosphere. From the minute you walk through the door here, you get the enthusiastic handshake. With their hand out, shaking my hand and making sure I know their name. So we all work together and help each other like a big family. Here at De La Salle, they want your parents to get involved. Before the students admitted, I go on a home visit to the student's house, meet the parents. Um, they fill out a parent contract, and that partnership is key. The progression that he made coming from the school that he's originally at was so overwhelming. You respect somebody, and then you expect, you set expectations, which are realistic, but high. The kids know when they come here, you're going to be year-round, you got to wear a uniform, you got to have your shirt and your pants, you got to wear a belt, and you got to be presentable every day. Underneath it all is what we could probably call a, a tough love for, for our students, but a genuine concern for them. Some people are like scared to come in this community and like actually help people. We're going to double down on our effort to recruit students from the Ville. It's like basically saying there is somebody out here that actually cares about your education. What is going to you know, on one level, we're working with students academically and talking about work, but on another level, we're asking, how is it going? It's not just about math and science and those core subjects. It's also about character and uh, life. I just noticed a big difference in his maturity when he got over a day La Salle. It was a big plus for me. What truly sets us up part is our graduate support program that we follow our kids to high school and to college. We offer academic support, we offer social support, um, we offer financial support. I have a lot of contact with their counselors, their teachers, the administrators at their high schools. We want stability. We're in this thing for the long haul. We give a scholarship to every student who goes to a, a tuition-based school. We also have a number of programs that allow our graduates to come back here to literally sit in the classrooms that they used to sit in and now they're studying um, and preparing themselves for college. Thank you for all creation. Well, we teach as Catholic educators and, and our school is a Catholic school and we teach from that perspective. Right now we just have one Catholic student in our school. We run a Catholic school because we're Catholic, not necessarily because they are Catholic. St. John Baptist de La Salle. Pray for us. We teach theology, religion, uh, but it's scripture based and for Christians we share the same scriptures. There are values across the globe that are universal. I mean, everybody ought to subscribe to the notion of love. 
for, for instance. They always welcomed us, and now that I've been involved, you taught me a whole lot, and I really respect it. The phrase we use is, I am somebody. And these kids really are. I am somebody. Our challenge is to find that somebody within each young person. I am somebody. It just gives them the confidence and the faith in, in themselves that, that they can do something and that they are of value. I want to get into a good high school and a good college and become something of myself one day. I am somebody. It's all about the dignity and worth of every human being. Every one of them is somebody. Mm -hmm.